Yeah, I mean, we have, for having a uh, in more than 10 years, we learned a lot about cardiovascular risk, which is all not, does not only apply for a Britannib, but for all BTK inhibitors. Mainly we have data here on the covalent BTK inhibitors. So therefore, in general, um, in case patients do not have also renal insufficiency, um, venetoclax plus uh, right now obinutuzumab would be the preferred treatment option in, in patients with um, cardiovascular risk and already hypertension because we know this is a class effect. So some of the BTK inhibitors um, as acalabrutinib has uh, less cardiovascular side effects with respect to hypertension, zanabrutinib less atrial fibrillation. So this has to be discussed with each patient individual also what his um, expectations um, are on the treatment. Um, if he's willing to come frequently to the physician's office, for example. Um, but um, in, in general, we, we learned that um, with these type of kinase inhibitors, hematologists should work closely with their cardiologists.